Hey guys, and welcome to the new series of how to dye with natural materials. So uh, today we are going to try with brown onion skins. Um, they can um, give amazing colors, so starting from yellow to burnt orange to brown. Um, and the process is very, very simple. A couple of things that you need to know before we start. First of all, artificial fibers do not dye with natural materials. So you have to choose either cotton, wool or silk. Uh, based on the different kind of fibers and based on the dye, they can give different results in terms of colors. So you don't have control on the final product. But I'll show you um, and it's just going to be uh, lovely. Um, so for onion skins, you need roughly 30 grams of them with 100 grams of yarn or cotton or whatever you are dyeing. So I picked today one of my old tank tops, 100% cotton. It doesn't have the bright white that I had when I got it, so I want it in a different color. Um, if you want it to come out even better, you can bleach uh, um, these fibers. Uh, um, do not bleach wool because that is just going to dissolve. But if it's 100% cotton and it's white, you can bleach it. And after you um, leave it to soak in bleach for, I would say, at least five hours, you can let it dry and then we can dye it. All right. So to do the dye, it's very simple. You just get your onion skins and you just soak them in water. Um, so you pop them in a pot, I think I'm going to use a little bit more, and you just completely cover them in water. Then you pop this on the stove. And you let it boil and simmer for at least uh, 35 40 minutes but just uh, keep checking on it um, till you are gonna see the water um, taking you know a beautiful color and when you're happy with the color of the water you can um, get it off the stove all right so our onion skins are simmering and I know that the steam is sort of a not working well with the camera but um, you can see already that the water has taken a beautiful burnt orange color already and this is the first 10 minutes that we had them uh, um, on the stove All right so just keep um, an eye on them let them simmer and I'll see you again in a bit all right, so we have our um, onion skins dye bath. So um, this is still quite hot, um, but uh, um, it's not a problem if you're dyeing cotton, anything cotton. Cotton can resist really high temperatures, but if you are dyeing wool, please let it cool down um, before um, uh, simmering the fabric into the dye bath uh, because it's at risk of felting. Um, all right, so um, I don't want a, an extremely rich color. Um, as I said, we have no control on the results, but I added a bit of water. Uh, so the the more richer you want the color, um, the less uh, water you want to use. Uh, um, the more paler you can dilute uh, with uh, um, water. So uh, pre-soak uh, your garment or your piece of fabric. Uh, um, there we go. And then just pop your bath on top of that. See the water seems red uh, but once you pour it over you can see this kind of burnt orange yellowish uh, color already. All right, so it's still hot, so we're going to use a, a spoon. You see already that it's kind of dying. So be sure to be sure that your fabric and everything is completely soaked and it's completely covered um, in the dye bath. All right. And now we are going to let it in for at least a couple of hours uh, and then we'll um, we we'll see. So uh, this is the final result, as you can see. So I got it uh, out of the 
dye bath yesterday um, after a couple of hours and then um, I just gave it a good rinse and let it dry so as you can see it's sort of a pale yellow which is the result that I wanted um, I'll explain more in following videos because you can use more dance uh, to make it a, a richer color um, and uh, um, different mordants can give different results but we'll um, talk about that probably in other videos uh, um, so as you can see it's pretty nice in some places uh, it didn't uh, uh, die evenly and that is quite common and that is why I always say that you know with natural dyeing uh, you don't really have controlled results uh, but as you can see it's quite it's quite nice it's absolutely lovely um, and it's very easy because all you need uh, is basically a pot and some onion skins uh, and something that you want to dye. Um, but um, yeah, we'll have different videos and experiment with different stuff. But this is this is the final result for um, the onion skins.